mic, lights, lights, camera, action. It feels so good to be recording, but I need to flip this little screen back so I don't look at myself the whole time. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my October BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm so excited for this one. I created this look with the entire box, so if you are interested in that, then just keep on watching. So, we are back on track with BoxyCharm. So let me just inform you guys about last month's BoxyCharm. I know I didn't upload a video. It was because I received the September box literally October 1st. The first thing when I see when I open the box is clearly the little card, and it says Spellbound. So, huh, cute. And then all the products are obviously on the back per usual. So this is what the box looks like this month. There are some good old goodies this month. They are hooking us up. So first, let's talk about this. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I used this right before I started filming so I could let you guys know how I feel about it. I love it. And I'm really impressed that this is in the box because this retails for $58. So that is expensive for an exfoliator, <laughs> at least for me. But I really like the smell of it. It has more of like a refreshing minty smell, but it's not too overpowering once you apply it on your face. And the exfoliators in it are really, really tiny and they're just really gentle in a way. But after, like right now, my skin feels so smooth. I feel like it really gets into the pores and clears them out, which hopefully would do that. But it says to use it one to two times per week, so obviously I'm not going to use this every day because exfoliating your face every day is horrible for your skin. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I absolutely love this and I look forward to trying it out in the future. The next thing in the box is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Prosecco Pop. I'm so excited to try this out. I am honestly not a huge fan of liquid highlighters, but we're going to try it out for this video. And I believe you can use these underneath your foundation and as a highlight. Yes. Apply as a makeup base or or over foundation to highlight specific areas. So I'm going to use it as a base even though I do have oily skin. We're going to test it out for the sake of this video because I'm excited about it. This is what the beautiful packaging looks like. It looks so gold. I am so excited. Um, let's. I want to squirt a little bit on the back of my hand just to see the color that wants to come out. Holy crap. This was like a tiny, tiny, tiny little dot. And look at how much it covered. But that's so pretty. It's like really shimmery, really gold. Um, I don't know how well that's going to look underneath foundation, but we're going to try for the sake of this video. Okay. So, of course, I'm just going to prep my skin per usual before I apply the Becca highlighter on top. And then I think I'm going to go in with a primer, like a pore filling primer, and then go in with this, and then go in with my foundation. Let's hope this works out. I've never, ever, ever done this before, so let's pray for the best. So I just took the Benefit Pore Professional, and I'm just putting that mainly in my T-zone, just right where I get oily, just so this doesn't make me a hot oily mess by the time I'm done with my foundation. I'm going to take the Morphe S3. This is just like a flat foundation brush. I'm like real scared. Like real scared. And then I'm just going to apply this just like a very light layer just to see if it gives like the skin a gorgeous glow through the foundation. So this technique is really good for those of you that have drier skin. It kind of like wakes your skin up, makes your skin look really um, nice and glowy right after you apply your foundation. Like it makes it look really pretty and just alive and awake. <laughs> but this technique isn't really the best for oily girls like myself, but... We're going to try it out. I want to see if it really makes that big of a difference. Just because it's like a liquid highlighter. It's not like 
I don't feel like it's like overly luminous. Like, okay, so that is what the Becca highlighter looks like all over the skin. Girl, I am glowing from within. This is so cute. I honestly would wear this just to class. Feeling it. I'm feeling it. This shimmering skin perfector retails for $41. So that's a pretty pricey item as well. So now I'm just going to go in with foundations. I'm not going to really like tell you step by step. I'm just going to zoom through this part just because this isn't a tutorial. It's just a unboxing of the BoxyCharm and testing those products out specifically. So I'm just going to zoom right through and then we're going to see how my skin looks after I apply my foundation. So this is what the skin is looking like with the liquid highlighter underneath. I'm honestly like l loving it. Like I was kind of really nervous and really scared just because I have really oily skin and I've never done like a liquid highlighter underneath the foundation or even like I guess I could have mixed it in with my foundation as well. But this is really good for those like foundations that are just too matte and too flat. If you like more of a dewier finish, like a little glow to the skin, this is a gorgeous combination. Like I am obsessed. Obsessed. So now I'm just going to go and finish the rest of my makeup portion that I don't have products in here for and then I will be right back. Okay, so I finished the rest of the portion of my face that I could. So next up in the box is this. It says, which way? Dirty Little Secret. That's so cute. And the shade is Illusion and it is a eyeshadow crayon. So this is like a little chubby stick. Let's see. Okay, this is really pretty. You can see that it's really pretty. It's like a champagne-y pink color. So I'm just gonna add a little transition shade just so it's not so boring. Um, I'm gonna go in with Stunner right here. This is a really pretty like burgundy shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that eyeshadow crayon, just really apply this all over my lid. It really glides on the eye really nicely. It does tug a little bit, as you can see, but it's really not horrible. I think the pigment is really pretty once you build it up and really work with it. I actually really like this. And honestly, like, I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of crayons like this. Like, I just, I'd rather just go in with a shimmer eyeshadow. I do want to see what it looks like with just a shimmer eyeshadow over it and use it as kind of like a base. I honestly really like it just like this, just for like an everyday quick out the door look. And I think it's really pretty, but I do want to see if it can act as a base. So I'm going to take that same brush and dip in with this shade right here. You see how like it intensifies it? I'm also using padding motion so it doesn't move that um, eyeshadow crayon underneath. And I forgot to mention this crayon retails for $14 so it's a little expensive. Okay so I just applied some mascara and some highlight because I totally forgot to apply highlight after I tried the liquid highlighter but these are the eyes. I really like that crayon and adding a shimmer on top just spices it up just that much more. So the last two products in the box are lip products, which I absolutely love. This is a lip liner in the shade red. That color right there, really pretty red. It's like a really true red. And that retails for $5. And then also we have a Tardis lip paint in the shade XOXO, which is a also very bright, vibrant red. It's gorgeous. 
and then that is that shade right there. So these colors go hand in hand together. So we're gonna try the lip liner first, of course. This is what the lip liner looks like. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It did take a lot of building up to get to this color. And it was kind of hard to like really get a nice, smooth, creamy line. It's not that creamy. So I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it, I got the job done. So now on to the Tardis lip paint. And to let you guys know, this Tardis lip paint retails for $20. And this is the shade XOXO in the Tardis lip paint. So this is the completed look with the BoxyCharm box of the month. And the grand total for this month's BoxyCharm is $138. Girl, that number got me shook to the core. That is insane. That is literally insane. BoxyCharm just keeps surprising us with the amount of products that they give us. And I'm really impressed with this month's box. The only thing that I was not too fond of is just this lip liner. And this was only $5. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the S squad. And let me know down below what your favorite product from this month's BoxyCharm was. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.